Hello everyone, um, welcome to my presentation. Today we'll be talking about the federally administered tribal areas of Pakistan and what kind of law and control goes on there. So the tribal areas are situated between Afghanistan and, Paca and Pakistan and they're separated into seven main areas that you can see here on the map. Um, much of Pakistan and the Afghanistani border um, that you can see here has come under dispute as the Taliban has taken a lot of control over these areas. Um, but the official border is as shown on the map here. Um, almost the entire population of the federally administered tribal areas are of the Pashtun tribe. And this has had a huge influence on why the federally administered tribal areas has become what it is today. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, but for now, know that it is almost exclusively of the Pashtun tribe. Um, this country is also, um, like I said, technically under Pakistani government, but similar to like what the Wild West was in America, the laws and rules of the Pakistan government are very loosely held here, if at all, and um, they kind of run their own show here. So I wanted to give you a little bit of a history of this area. So to understand the tribal areas of Pakistan, you have to understand the people there. Um, for the Pashtun tribesmen, their identity as a Pashtun is far more valuable than their identity as Pakistani. Uh, their view for Pakistani is foreign, they view Pakistanis as foreigners, and that is perception that has unfortunately increased in recent years and has been a damaging um, factor on the Pakistani and tribal people's relationship. The Pashtun people are very loyal to their tribesmen and keep a very tight knit group. They have also been quite resistant to Pakistani rule ever since the beginning, and um, this is similar to how they resisted British control in earlier years, but for the most part, um, Islamabad, the governing capital of Pakistan, has left the tribal areas to themselves. Um, that, however, was before 9-11 happened. So after the terrorist attack on New York, the federal administered tribal areas became a refuge for terrorist groups and Taliban members because it was because of its remote location and also because of lack of government control in that area. At the time, however, the federally administered tribal areas at that time, um, the federally administered tribal areas suddenly became under much closer supervision. Um, there was a lot of added pressure from the United States on Pakistan con to control the areas, and Pakistan sent, as a result, Pakistan sent 80,000 troops into the federally administered tribal areas to take control and secure the terrorist leaders. However, uh, this attempt failed very badly. Um, part of the reason may have been because uh, many of the troops that were sent in were also of the Pashtun tribe which caused a lot of inner conflict among many of the troops. And uh, the fact that they felt that they were fighting their own under the pressure from an outside nation um, of the United States didn't help their efforts either. The conflict in the federally administered tribal areas quickly became unpopular, and the more uh, Pakistan fought, the wider the separation between the Taliban and the federally administered tribal areas and the Pakistan people became. Since then, there has been many attempts from the Pakistan government to make treaties with the Taliban leaders in these tribal areas. Um, these treaties have included um, not using Pakistan ground against other countries, um, preventing attacks on their own Pakistan military, uh, or to stop infiltration of militants coming across the Afghanistani border. Um, as you can see from the sound of these treaties, um, there is really a huge lack of control um, from Pakistan in these areas. Um, they're just trying to keep themselves from being attacked and from letting more Afghanistan, Afghanistan uh, military men over the borders. So these treaties um, have had little to no effect and have lasted only by a few months and then they've dissolved. So the lack of military control and the popularity has gained influence, um, has greatly influenced the power that the Taliban has in these tribal areas. The Pakistani government tried to deploy troops and stop terrorist growth, but it's only made it worse. It's damaged their relationship with tribal areas and um, created a more prime location for the Taliban and other terrorist groups to strengthen their hold there. So a little bit more about the Taliban um, is this tribal territory has served for a hub for the Taliban and other terrorist groups for quite some time. It is said to be a melting pot for jihadists all over the world. Um, since Afghanistan wars, Taliban members have achieved leadership roles in many of the tribal areas. This has been a cause of great concern for those living in Pakistan, but also for those in the tribal areas. Some tribal leaders have been killed by Taliban members for questioning their power or for working on much of it, or working too much with Pakistan's capital and main government. Um, another concern for many is that there are now 300 Muslim schools compared to only 102 high schools. 
um, that's concerned because it reflects the growing power of Islamic extremists in this tribal area. Thank you for watching.